Okay, so we're gonna start off with the very simple prompt first. And here is the prompt. I'm not gonna read all of it. I'll just read the first little paragraph here. Basically, we're gonna instruct it to create a modern landing page for a pool hall. Yes, that's a pool table behind me. I like pool called Sneaky Pete's. By default, it should be in dark mode. The hero section should feature a pool table, headline, subheadline with a primary CTA button that says rates and a secondary CTA button that says location. You can go ahead and pause the video here to read this stuff right here, but this is the full, you know, this is the full prompt I'm going to paste in. So now we're gonna go over to anti-gravity. And by the way, I haven't even used anti-gravity yet. This is gonna be my very first prompt. And you can see right here, it says Gemini 3 Pro High. That's what we're gonna use. I'm gonna just simply paste this in. I think I'm also going to instruct it to create all this inside of an index.html file. Um, so create an index.html file to store this landing page. All right, here we go. Let's hit send. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Um, here it is. <laughs> so ugly. Far worse than anything that I've seen from like Gemini 2.5. Uh, this must be a skill issue. Let's scroll down. Oh my God, this is horrendous. Yeah most ugly but ugly garbage I've ever seen. Rates, at least the, the functionality of the site works. Let's see if it's responsive. I mean, I have to imagine it is because it's so simple. Actually, we don't even get the fucking, uh, <laughs> the navigation. We don't get a mobile navigation apparently. Um, yeah, this is really, 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 really freaking ugly. I do have to say though, with anti-gravity, the, uh, the experience is really cool. I would say it's superior to cursor from what I've seen, being that it creates uh, this little cool like snapshot recording um, of everything. So that's actually really cool. Okay, so for the next demo, this one's going to be way more elaborate. And I came up with this idea where I created a screencast of this website, an existing website called portrait.so which I think is a really nice kind of modern, sleek website. And I basically did a screencast, a video, it's 47 seconds long where I show the website in action and in the video. And we have four different sections. This is uh, the first section is up here, second here, third is here, and then the fourth is here. And I went into Google Gemini, I uploaded that right here. And then I said, I need you to carefully review the following website in the attached video. Your objective is to describe in detail each blah, blah, blah. This is a longer prompt because I wanted to split up into four different prompts so that I can feed it into anti-gravity because Google Gemini 3 can really analyze video very well. So it's going to create, and it already did, it created these prompts for me so that it will try to mimic this website, except make it custom for our purpose, which is a Dropbox competitor. And I also told it to use a dark color scheme instead of a light color scheme, as you saw there. And I also told it to use custom content to make it feel like it's a unique website based around a Dropbox competitor. So I'm gonna paste in the very first prompt that it gave me, and we'll see what it does iteratively over a much more detailed prompt. Okay, so here is the very first prompt. You can see all the text right here where it's described all the stuff from the video. And I'm also going to screenshot it as well. Um, that way it has as much context as possible. So for the very first prompt, which is for the hero section in the navigation, I'm going to create a screenshot and then I'm simply gonna paste it in there as reference. So let's ho go ahead and hope to God this works. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, let's see here. Okay. So let's compare it to this one right here. Now, clearly it didn't get the background, this little background um, gradient. It didn't like kind of translate that. I'm looking here, create, claim your username, sign up. I, it shows up circle here. Yep, that's the name of our fictional business. It created a parallax effect, even though there wasn't one here, it decided to do that on its own, which is actually kind of cool. But, you know, all it would take is probably like, you know, a really cool background of some sort, either like a static, you know, PNG image or something like a unicorn studio to really make this even cooler. But clearly this is unfinished, um, but it's actually a pretty good start and it's a lot better than the first prompt. So let me go ahead and let's feed in the second prompt to see what happens.
All right, section two is done. I've not checked it out yet. Let's go back and look at it. Let's refresh. Oh my God, what just happened? What in the living hell is happening? <laughs> okay, we've got to fix this clearly. It looks like some cool stuff was happening, but my God, let's do, uh, let's do this. Okay, let's take this. I don't understand this. New section should be directly underneath the hero section, yet it's showing up on the right side of the hero section. I should be able to scroll down past the 100 viewport height hero section into this new section. Fix it. My God, that was bad. And by the way, I think we can definitely confirm just from that last prompt that we do not have AGI. Gemini 3 is not AGI. Okay, so there we go. Uh, it did not do that cool like transfer effect like when you scroll down here. It certainly did not do that. Um, let's just come down. Yeah, I mean, it kind of got it. Let's see what the actual, yeah. So it's not the exact same. I uh, set up here and it didn't generate images for these as well, which is kind of disappointing. Let's keep on going with prompt three um, and then prompt four and we'll see what happens. All right, let's check out the next section. Uh, what is happening? All right, okay. So you know what? Um, I'm, I'm thinking, you know what? This is, this is, this is not good. Um, all right, so let's check this out. And oh, it, it's still broke. It is still literally broke. I can't sit here all day, unfortunately, and trying to get this thing to work. Gemini 3 Pro on high so far with these prompts has not yielded any good results. Um, you know, fuck, I, I don't even know if I wanna upload this video because I'm generally wondering like, how could it be this freaking bad at front end? Um, this, is, this is just butt ugly. Um, I mean, you'd have to work with this, obviously. You're not gonna get something that's really polished out of the box. Um, so I think having these better expectations, one of the problems is if you go on sites like X, like in the design community, you have so many engagement farmers and a lot of people were just blatantly lying about, oh, look at what this, this uh, Gemini 3 just one-shotted because they just want a lot of likes and a lot of shares to grow their stupid following. So I, I think, you know, the, as far as this, these initial tests that I've done in terms of generating UIs, I'm not saying this because I'm a designer and I've started working with clients recently. Um, you still need to have good design skills and good designs again. So with that said, a little plug, check out designcourse.com. I'm not that impressed right here. Um, definitely some things that could be improved for sure. I will see you all very soon with new videos. Goodbye.